Um, on the subject of dads, should we yeah. get into a little bit of Matt Damon? Oh, yes. Touch on it. Weird. It- Weird. Yeah. I'm not sure why. Um, for any of you who don't know, Matt Damon did this article uh, about the like changing of masculinity, which is like, whoa, <laughs> you're setting him up at that point, right? So he did this article and decided to tell a story about how he just recently stopped using the F word gay slur mm-hmm. uh, very recently because of a um, an essay that his daughter wrote him because they were talking about it at the dinner table. Sure. She was like, what is wrong with you? You can't do that right now. And he's like, man, what the fuck's the problem, man? kid? Yeah. I've been saying this word for years, right? Yeah. Is how I picture Matt Damon in real life. Um, and so she went to her room. She wrote him a, um, an essay. She called it something else, but an essay about why he can't use the word. And then he said, and then I understood. Um, again, I think he was hoping that everyone would be like, oh, that's great. Great. And once again with Matt Damon, yep. he shared something uh, that should have been left at his dinner table slash bar with his buddies right yeah Yeah, and that's a very dad thing i think it's very someone that isn't really in hollywood right which Mm -hmm. he's not he pops out and does movies but he doesn't really do the whole thing and he's not really in it all the time right yeah yeah. he's married to some normie they have a bunch of kids they live whatever um so why do you think he said that? So two things, because I was thinking about this. Um, there's, he's taking a lot of heat from it. Uh, th- this morning, he but there's actually... there's no point in sharing the story. Th- Why? This morning, he actually released a statement saying he didn't say the F word. Um, so, I, I, and I... I what do you was, mean? He didn't say the word fag, apparently, is what he... Uh, that's what he was accused of saying to his daughters. And... No, he was talking about to his daughters that, like... Correct that we used to say that word all the time. I said it in this movie, Correct. like, yeah. and, you and, know, and it was, uh, the, God, it was the movie with Greg Kinnear. Um, there was a, a, a line from the movie with Greg Kinnear and it was, uh, the, the one where they're conjoined twins stuck on you, yes, stuck to stuck it. on yeah, you, stuck on you. Um, yeah. So he, this morning said he didn't say the word at all. And what that, do you mean? Uh, he said that this conversation didn't take place. I mean, he said that he didn't say it. He was using it as an example from that movie. So he said it was a line in the movie. And yeah, I look, whether you believe it, that's uh, that answer or not. So be it. So the person that wrote the article completely fabricated this whole story that he shared with them. I do not believe so. In, okay. this, in this case, right. Um, but the Matt Damon is saying that he did not say the word that he was relating that word to that movie in that particular line in the movie and that was the statement he released this morning so well again the article was about the changing landscape of male masculinity right so i think that story sort of ties in and that like for example i used to say this word right Uh and all of our all my bros used to say it to each other and now (laughs) because of my daughter last week i stopped saying it do you know what i mean like again I'm sure he said the story. I'm sure he gave that little antidote. It was taken out of context, fine. But I do think it's a little bit of a disconnect. And then I also am like, is he getting ahead of maybe a video out there where he is saying it coming out? And then maybe his po- like to just get out ahead of it. I, why would you, why even tell that story. So t- I, I think there's two things with Matt Damon in this, right? And first of all, I, I really like Matt Damon. I think he's fucking awesome. So do I. Um, I think the first one is he's playing a Trump guy in this new movie called Stillwater. And uh, he, he spent a lot of time uh, learning MAGA. That's what okay. he said in one of the articles too, learning about MAGA and the, the movement and everything else. By the way, I want to say that I don't, think there's anything wrong with him saying that, saying that he changed his vocabulary because of the time. I think that's a great thing that I wish we could all like hear someone say without going crazy about it. Right. Okay. So I just want to get that out of the way, but go ahead. Um, So, you know, with that, like he was just like, dude, because he said a lot of things in these these press articles where he's just like, man, I had a different opinion of the other side of the right. Um, I got to meet some of these people and he goes, it makes more sense to me. Um, now, 
uh, you know, he stopped short of saying he's Republican or anything else, obviously, but um, uh, which I don't think he is. But um, I don't think he is. But I think I don't he either. clearly is not doesn't have his finger on the pulse of the progressive Hollywood. I, I think he's probably more towards the middle. That's just right. my guess. Uh, but however, when you're selling a movie to that audience right now, that's kind of your way in and, and you're going to start talking about things that are more common like this and the and masculinity. And that's a, a theme that keeps coming up over and over and over again on the rights versus the left. Right. And, uh, I, I think he was trying to make himself more relatable. However, in today's world, you can't do that anymore. And he, it's been a while since Matt Damon himself has gone out and done traditional press like this. Because everybody was coming out, the big stars, like the big, big stars are coming right. out of COVID and, uh, and they're going into these interviews and shit's getting a little wonky because they haven't done it in a while. And they're like, oh, hey, all the things that were pent up during COVID. I get it. I'm, I'm woke now. And you're like, oh, actually, no, that. Yep. Don't say it because yep. you're not going to be woke soon enough for the woke. Like you can't just you can't win. Just don't say it. Yeah. Say all the things that people say. Hey, what'd your kid think of the movie? Oh, my kid doesn't care. Hey, could I, I could be anyone up there. <laughs> that fucking thing. What do your kids think about you being Batman? Oh, they could care less. Yeah. I'm just dad to them. Exactly. That whole thing. Yeah. Just stay on that fucking boring ass road. Don't veer off. This isn't the first time he's veered off. Two other times. One. Again, I have to say I, I agree with him. We are all Matt Damon, but you just don't say it. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one he did was The Spectrum, which, again, oh, okay. we can all relate to. So during the Me Too movement, it was the wrong time, but he talked about there being a spectrum, a difference between complimenting a girl's dress, patting them on the butt, and raping them. So he's saying, which, again, people have said this afterwards, but he was kind of one of the first people in Hollywood to say it, to say it in an interview, right. to lay it out. And everyone's like, fuck you. He's kind of canceled for a little bit. <laughs> There's no spectrum. It's all the thing, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, oh shit, I can't fucking say anything. A little time goes by and he goes, you say the word, you know, yeah. not going to say it. Uh, the other time was when he was doing, what was that show with Matt, uh, with Ben Affleck? Big ups. Oh, Project Greenlight. Big ups to Ben Affleck behind you. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Our Lord and Savior back there. He was talking. There was a black producer that they hired and it was very much like it was a woman. Oh, yeah, black yeah, yeah. producer it was very much like I'm not being heard. I'm not getting a trip, whatever. And he finally just like snapped on and was like, look, motherfucker. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I have no like you. You got I want the best person for the job. Yep. That's it. Yeah. I want the best. Bring me whoever. And I'm going to pick. The, and it was like people lost it because he was supposed to pick someone of color. He said, I want to pick the best person. For the job, why are you making me? Yeah, yeah. whatever. And she was a terrible producer. Like, she really I, I watched was. that show. She was a shitty producer. She just was a shitty producer. He didn't like her, but he couldn't say. He he finally just like snapped. So this isn't the first time that we've all been Matt Damon, but I just think um, maybe no more interviews. Yeah, I, it's tough because maybe he, Osaka. He's got, he's got to go out there, I guess. I, I don't know. I look. I've met him in real life. I don't know if I've told this story, but like I've had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him for a good 20, 30 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. He's fucking awesome. Like, and he talks exactly like us. Every other word is fuck. He's and rad. To, to he's be honest, funny. he doesn't really. He's very self-aware. Mm -hmm. And he's everything you would hope Matt Damon would be, like privately, where you're just like, oh, that's a bro. That is a fucking homie right there. Um, even, so I'll put it to you this way. The function we were at, Ben Affleck was there when he was dating Jennifer Lopez the first time. Mm. And, uh, and I was like, oh, are you you're going to go hang out with your, your beef fry or whatever? And uh, jokingly, uh -huh. you know, and, uh, and he had said something like, no, that's, that's uh, it's a little too much for me. You know, it's a little right. too, that's a little yeah, too yeah, much yeah, fame yeah. over there for me, joking around about it. Like, he's fucking hilarious and awesome. However, in today's Hollywood there is no place for honesty or any of that shit anymore. And uh, you're basically giving answers like an athlete. Mm -hmm. How'd you do? Well, give it 110% and, uh, you know, can't wait to do the thing and the thing and the thing and then move on with your life. If you're going to do an interview, in my opinion, now as a big actor, you've got to come on a podcast. Yeah. It's unedited. It's live. And no one will take your quotes out of context.